Florida State on Sunday night. Do not get it twisted by the way that that game ended, that there was anything other than domination by Florida State. They almost found a way to give the game away, but this is a learning situation, I would say, for Florida State. Uh, once, once you got past a certain point in this game, uh, they took control, and they were, I mean, they were right on top of it. I mean, their, their win percentage at one point, even at the end of the game, when it came down to uh, LSU scoring uh, that touchdown, I mean, it, it, Florida State's win probability at that point was still 77%. I mean, it's based on, on what they did in this game. Uh, yeah, they, they had dominated this thing. Um, and dominated may be a strong word. They just looked like the significantly better team overall. When, when you look at all the different stats, etc., uh, and that's based on, like, first half through the third quarter, etc. Fourth quarter, you go up 24 to 10. I don't know what their defense was doing at that spot. Uh, good gracious. I mean, just tried tried to give it away. Uh, but Mike Norvell was, was right in going about it at the end of the game the way that he did, about fighting, about... Uh, finding a way to win, all that kind of stuff. He, he was right. They blocked a field goal early. They blocked an extra point late. Uh, LSU muffed two punts. And by the way, muffed two punts, and and Florida State didn't score on either of them? I mean, it's just mind-blowing stuff, uh, what, what they were doing in the red zone. But regardless, it's kind of the, the old adage of you lose big, then you lose small, then you win small, and then you win big. Well, we're, I think, at the win small level. Uh, but this thing, I mean, this defensive line looks legit. The offensive line, a lot better than I assume they would be based on uh, the past five, six years, however, however long it's been, four or five years. Uh, it's been pretty, pretty bad. Uh, moving over to the LSU side, uh, got to figure out what in the world is going on with Kayshawn Butte uh, because he didn't get a lot of touches in this game. He did have a drop uh, in this game. Um, he was, he was not happy. He has scrubbed all of his LSU stuff off of his Instagram, which apparently is a really big deal these days. I'm curious. And Malik Neighbors did the same thing. He he muffed two punts. Um, and Brian Kelly's comments afterwards about Malik Neighbors. I mean, sometimes it's better to not say anything at all. Like him coming out publicly and saying all this stuff about, uh, yeah, you know, you evaluate a player for four weeks over camp and you think, you know what's you know obviously that's on us and we didn't it still like you you come out and you say something positive you don't say something about like I never should have had the kid in uh, it's just ridiculous the way that he uh, went about that but I mean obviously first game we're still trying to figure stuff out here but whew, um, Florida State I mean found a way to get it done they they were they were the better team uh, and you could tell like it, there was more continuity. It was better overall, uh, but man, Florida State, you fumble that ball at the one-yard line, you let LSU drive it 99 yards uh, in the last minute and 20, and then you get saved by blocking an extra point. Uh, I mean, you got lucky. You got lucky. You hate to see Mason Smith go out on a, a celebration injury, I guess you could say. Uh, torn ACL, he's out for the year. Uh, the neighbor stuff. I, I want to know what's up with Keishon Butte. That's what I want to know. That's that's my biggest thing to take out of this game right now is uh, you got to you got to get the eye guy in the fold, man. We, you got to figure out what in the world is happening there. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.